Good morning. I will shortly be seeing His Majesty the King to offer my resignation as Prime Minister. To the country, I would like to say first and foremost, I am sorry. I have given this job my all, but you have sent a clear signal that the government of the United Kingdom must change, and yours is the only judgment that matters. I have heard your anger, your disappointment, and I take responsibility for this loss. It pains me to think how many good colleagues who contributed so much to their communities and our country will now no longer sit in the House of Commons. I thank them for their hard work and their service. Following this result, I will step down as party leader, not immediately, but once the formal arrangements for selecting my successor are in place. Sir Keir Starmer will shortly become our Prime Minister. In this job, his successes will be all our successes, and I wish him and his family well. Whatever our disagreements in this campaign, he is a decent, public-spirited man who I respect. He and his family deserve the very best of our understanding as they make the huge transition to their new lives behind this door, and as he grapples with this most demanding of jobs in an increasingly unstable world. One of the most remarkable things about Britain is just how unremarkable it is that two generations after my grandparents came here with little I could become Prime Minister, and that I could watch my two young daughters like Diwali candles on the steps in Downing Street. We must hold true to that idea of who we are, that vision of kindness, decency, and tolerance that has always been the British way. This is a difficult day, at the end of a number of difficult days, but I leave this job honoured to have been your Prime Minister. This is the best country in the world, and it is thanks entirely to you, the British people, the true source of all our achievements, our strengths, and our greatness. Thank you. have audio in the end.